So hello everyone, welcome back in the APM mobile test automation. So this is the part 6. So in the previous video we have seen that how to install the APM on your Windows machine. Now we will see that what are the desired capabilities in the APM and what are all the required desired capabilities for the APM that we are going to use for our uh, Android app testing as well as the iOS app testing. So uh, we have installed this APM. Okay, this is the, my APM. Once you have launched this APM, it will look like this. And after that, you can start this APM. Okay, this is started this APM. Okay. So desired capabilities are the key and value pair in the JSON object we are going to send to the server from the client and then it will see the request and according to that it will respond so basically these capabilities we are using for the apm drivers APM what type of the browsers we are going to use and which is a device name what is the platform name okay this is a platform version the device name what is the automation suit name and where is your app to test so desired capabilities in mobile test automations, there are the two ways by that we can script it. That means we can define the desired capability in two ways. The first is the web driver test. That means when we are working with the Eclipse to write the test script and the test engine, we will write the, all the desired capabilities using the Java programming language or any scripting programming language in the Eclipse. Okay, This we will see in the next video series. The second one is the APM server GUI. This is why the inspector session means here you no need to write the code and you no need to have the knowledge of the Java. You directly use the GUI graphical user interface of the APM server. Okay, So for that you have to go to this APM and this is your inspector session so this is saying the via the inspector session so you just click on the inspector session after that it will launch this uh, apm server and inspector session so here you can see these are the desired capabilities so which what is the desired capability name you can provide here so just say the first capability name is the platform name this name should be same because this is the key you cannot change this one what type of the parameter you are going to write as a value so you just have the text and here you can provide the value like iOS okay and so that you can provide here I have already created for you this one so if you want to see this capability test so this is the platform name text and this is the Android I have the Android mobile for that I have designed this first desired capability platform name text and this you can write the android then second you can type the device name so you just put the device name same as and device name parameter will be the text and so what is the device name your android device you are using the kind of the mobile device and the emulator to use for iphone simulator ipad simulator iphone and also for that your apk folder on your Android APK file. So if you are using the Android APK file, okay, then you just provide the device name as Android. So if you are using the Android mobile, you can provide the Android mobile. If you are using the iPhone, you just put the iPhone or iPad. If you are using iPad, if you are using the simulator, if you are working with that iOS operating system, or you can provide the emulator for the Android uh, virtual device name. So you just provide, so now as of now I am using the real Android device, so I am providing the Android. Then where is your app location? So this is the app location. So dot .apk file for the Android and dot .ipa file for the iOS. And if you have the IPA folder for the iOS simulator, you can provide the path. PM, here are softwares. These are my APK files. First thing you make sure that you, you you should not have any space. If you are having any space and saying like that, it won't work. So you always have the path 
without any space where you are keeping all your apk files you just copy this path slash give the apk file name so this is my dapm software and this is my apk file then you just save it if you want to save first time save it and again you save it okay if you want to save it a new then you can put the name test app and say save so now you go to the saved capabilities test so there are two capability set is there after that you can see the here this is the json that i'm talking about uh, this json format if you can see here this is a json object so this is the json object this is the key which we have provided and designed in this section so and then it will see the android and device name android and this is my app location by default it will take the double slash okay so this is the designing part or writing the desired capabilities and then it will show the json representation here if you want to edit the json representation directly here you can click on it add it to json data you can easily add it if you want to delete any uh, capabilities here you can delete or if you want to add the new one you can easily add the new one but but the condition is that you have to use the same name platform name platform version device name automation name app okay and this uh, browser name what is your browser name and this is your app activity app package these are all the capabilities these these two are the android level capabilities so activity name for the android activity that you can come to know in the in the next video series in this video you just to know what is the desired capabilities and how to design the desired capabilities for the apm and what are the basic and the general desired capabilities we will use for our mobile test automation nothing more you need to know okay that's it this is the basic things if you know then you can easily work with the desired capabilities this knowledge is very important to work with the apm desired capabilities because without that you cannot run your apm test in your chrome as well as in another browser so device name platform name what is the browser name name of the mobile web browser to automate should be an empty string if you automating an app safari good ios chrome and the chrome and chromium and the browser for android so you no need to put the browser name if you are working because these are the by default safari for the ios browser chrome for the android so as of now we are using the android for and we are launching our applications for the chrome so you say browser name left okay okay and after that when you requested this session then all these and this is we are not connecting i will let you know in the next video session how to connect this apm server and with the real time devices and how to use these desired capabilities so when you start the session deal all the desired capabilities information in the json format will go to the server it will execute and it will launch the respective web app on this device 